Hey yeah, guys, frank matic and company. Hello. Here again with more Live I Live, and we've decided that we're going to do this chapter. No. Oh, right. We're going to do this chapter with a robot. That's a baseball. A baseball robot. Do you know what his name is? Is it sci-fi? No. Is it baseball bot? No. It's also not transport ship Cogito Ergo some. Wow. <laughs> Good thing that you know Latin. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> A new kind of life form is being created. No. Tommy. Tommy, no. No, <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> this is a no Tommy zone. His name's not Cato either. He said hello. I don't think that's a space dock. <laughs> sure it is. That's where I dock all my space. On, er on Earth? Yeah. Where are you docking yours? In space. <laughs> <laughs> no. Also, apparently our passenger ship is transporting an alien an alien. Only one? Yeah. One alien life form. It's also kind of phallic. So is everything. Freud was right all along. Okay, so we're transporting a large quadruped that we know literally nothing about. That seems safe. It's Tommy. We're Are you an alien, Tommy? Tommy. <laughs> I think he is. <laughs> he seems pleased that we accused him of such. At all costs, since this is a transport mission, I assume there aren't a lot of costs involved. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of cost, like money. Hey, look, sleepers. And only one of them is waking up, and that one is wearing a hat to bed. Wearing it backwards, no less. And glasses, because that's safe. <laughs> Science fiction, cha fiction chapter. Computer noises. They figured out what his name is yet? It's Gaspar. Is it dude bot? Yes. No, it's not dude bot. <laughs> <laughs> that no, doesn't make wrong. sense. <laughs> Why? Aw. He could have been box bot. He could have been box bot, but he's cube. How about Robox? <laughs> also, it was nice of Kato to give him a silly backwards cap like his own. <laughs> and doofy glasses. I'm pretty sure he doesn't need glasses because he's a robot. Are you trying to bite me? You but are no, the worst alien life form, Tommy. He's cube. I'm supposed to be fouling him, but I'm totally not doing that. What's this thing? Nothing. Give me stuff. I need physical possessions. You're already reading his diary? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm the worst robot. <laughs> Okay, this is boring. Cato, you're boring. <laughs> but you don't even walk. You're you're rolling. Actually, he has feet. Those aren't feet. Look, the roller skates or sneakers with really high bottoms. <laughs> but he's walking. You can see him moving up and down. Oh, I guess maybe. It's more like he's shuffling. That's just the byproduct of it being a square RPG. <laughs> With small sprites. <laughs> okay. It's this thing. Why do you bring me here? Look, Cube, it's your older brother. Why are we in the HAL room? I built him. <laughs> Good thing you can just do this. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought the ship's mechanic would have clearance to just add <laughs> dudes in there, but he's cute. <laughs> Hooray! No, that was pretty simple, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> How does that test his AI? <laughs> Friend computer. We'll never talk to it again. These little Except things tell you where you are. Why is the AI in sick day? <laughs> what? Where am I? What is this? I don't think I want to be here. <laughs> it's probably like an airlock or something. <laughs> Rachel. Not allowed in. Kirk. I sense a bad sitcom. Guest. <laughs> You're not allowed into the guest quarters, even though it's... I'm not a guest. ...an unnamed guest. I'm gonna save again in case I accidentally do something retarded and get myself killed. There aren't a lot of fights in this chapter. In fact, there's only one required fight in this chapter, but there's a lot of ways to just die. <laughs> Huey. Dewey and Louie. That's probably the other people. Let's see. Captain. Kirk is not the captain. <laughs> Good to know. Uh... It's a living break. Do, 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 do. What's this? Nothing. What's this? Nothing. Thank you. Current temperature. Oven. I know, I'm lost. Despite the fact that the ship isn't that big, it's actually somewhat easy to get lost. What's this? Elevator. What, what's this? What is this? Can't go in there. You know, I suppose the logical thing to do would be to check Cato's room. <laughs> but he said he'd be somewhere. That's somewhere. <laughs> no, that is only a nowhere. This is not the right area. It's one more down. 
The ship is full of very long hallways. I also didn't read Kato's sign. <laughs> nope, not here. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Oh yeah, scintillating action. Let's take the elevator. Let's go to level one. I actually don't remember where Kato is. I haven't played this chapter in a very long time. So we actually are wandering around lost. What's this? You knew I was going to say I know. that. Ah, it's the airlock room. Okay. Kirk. Caddo. Rachel. Are they all engineers? Getting sucked out into space while amusing is probably not particularly constructive. <laughs> is that a death door? We can't go in there. <laughs> nope, clearly, he must be on level 3. He's on the bridge. I don't know if this is where the bridge is. You're not authorized. You don't know that. Yes, I do. I mean, I do now, because it didn't let me in, but... <laughs> okay, that's the elevator, so what's this? It's an unlit room. With nobody in it. The sign say. Yeah, what, what is that? Nobody's piloting the <laughs> ship, oh god. <laughs> I'm sure that by now they've invented autopilot. By but again, as far fiction as. Fiction time. But again, as far as we could see, nobody is awake on the ship aside from Kato, who is just dicking around with it. Hmm. It was just dicking around with this robot and also appears to not actively be anywhere on the ship. <laughs> nice that you just have a double laying around. Well you might need he might need a spare. <laughs> I need a spare me occasionally. Seriously, I've been in, like, every room. Where the hell are you, Kato? <laughs> 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 oh, there he is. I'm pretty sure he wasn't there before. <laughs> yeah, I'm a robot. Why? <laughs> he probably doesn't like waking them up because they slap him. And say, why the hell were you watching me creepily as I slept? Reserve capsule. Why are two of them open? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Cargo handler Huey. Nobody seems to know how to react to this robot. <laughs> They're unfreezing. They're probably not reacting to anything well. The woman. Kirk is the pilot.
How do they push those buttons? I don't seem to have arms. <laughs> That's what the hat's for. Okay. <laughs> I'll accept that. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> that kind of worries me for my life. Hooray! People are friendly. But apparently that's snoring. <laughs> I don't know anybody who snores that way. I got this. Are you, are you gonna... are you gonna... oh. <laughs> I can <him> freak out. <laughs> Hi, Huey. Hmm. Uh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that name totally inspires some confidence. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am a loose rodent. <laughs> so now we go to the break room and die. Pretty sure the burger room was the other way, though. The ship's a big circle. Ah. Uh. Or at least this level is. <laughs> so, who does the extra castle belong to? I would assume the captain, maybe? Since the captain has not made an appearance. <laughs> but I didn't wake up from cold sleep. Needing sound boring. <laughs> You're a robot. You don't have a concept of boring. Go down and check at the nameplate. But for a moment, I will do that in a moment. For now, I'm going to break this video and go to another one because I feel like this one has gotten a little long. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> 